Well, we're coming up on 619 on Monday morning. And while skies are clear over much of central and southern Utah in the north, it's a gray start to the day for a lot of you. Extensive cloud cover and a little bit of snow coming down. High resolution sky tracker radar showing a few showers along parts of I-15, I-84 in Box Elder County, uh, flurries across Cache Valley, and then also uh, some of those light snow showers extending up toward Bear Lake. But light is the key. We're mainly looking at some flurries this morning, so hopefully nothing that will slow you down on your way heading out to uh, work and school after a long holiday weekend. Now, the temperature in Salt Lake City is 35. We had a little bit of a breeze going earlier this morning. That's led up for the time being, so uh, you don't have to deal with the wind chill when you head out the door. But a lot of these readings, in fact, almost all of them, are lower than they were 24 hours ago. In fact, across parts of southwest Utah, uh, some of the temperatures are about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than they were yesterday at this time. So still need to bundle up when you head out the door. But otherwise, a fairly mild weather day. We've got a westerly flow and caught up within that is a little disturbance that's sliding across the northern part of the state. That's helping to generate some of those showers. But as it moves east of here this afternoon, a lot of those are just let up. Now, yesterday's cold front that knocked the temperature down uh, is stalled out in the central part of the state. It's actually going to make its way back north today. And because it'll be warmer air behind it this time, it will become a warm front. And some of the temperatures in the north will climb a little higher uh, than they were yesterday. It looks like we'll make it to 49 in Salt Lake City. Uh, it'll be mostly cloudy, even though we'll see some sunshine peeking through at times, especially by later in the afternoon. A little wind out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Light snow over the northern mountains, also the far northern part of the state, mainly this morning. And then those uh, taper off heading into the afternoon. It'll be partly cloudy over central Utah, mostly sunny over much of the south. And a lot of valley temperatures today hovering from the upper 40s into the uh, mid 50s. A little warmer than that in St. George at 65. Later on tonight, clear in the south, partly cloudy in the north. Uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be dropping down into the low 30s along the Wasatch Front. So we'll be hovering pretty close to freezing and 40 for a temperature in St. George. And I've got a much stronger storm that will slide across the state by the middle of the week. And that'll bring some valley rain mountain snow. Temperature will still be hovering in the low 60s in Dixie. And then you'll be drying out by Thursday and Friday with low to mid 60s heading into the weekend. And for northern Utah tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy, a little bit warmer. Valley rain, mountain snow likely on Wednesday and Thursday. Not a major storm, but still a little bit wet during the middle of the week. And then we'll dry out just in time for the weekend. In fact, it'll be partly cloudy and we'll hover near 50 both on Saturday and Sunday. You know, so for the beginning of December, uh -huh. Feeling pretty comfortable. I know. I guess uh, some of that November is kind of trickling over. Hopefully the temps will go up as Hopefully. well. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay. Yeah.